All right, so here is something that I accidentally discovered the other day. Um, this is a byproduct of making uh, nitric acid, uh, if I can get that in focus. It's uh, very ugly, as you can see, uh, just a little bit. It's a nice, pretty blue. Um, yeah, with most of the copper, it's extremely uh, dark. Um, but this is pretty cool. Here's a, a piece of feeler gauge. This is uh, 1095 steel. And you can copper plate this in a split second. And I don't know, I'm gonna have to test this because uh, if I do a, a three layer uh, at five seconds per layer batch, um, the copper plating that is left on the steel is so durable. I, I don't really know what to think of it, but I actually put uh, the feeler gauge on my keychain. It's been rubbing around my pockets all scratched up. Um, I'm going to keep on doing that for at least a good month and see if I can wear off uh, any of the copper in my pocket. But anyhow, uh, I just wanted to give this little demonstration on how fast this is. Let's go real quick. And you can see it already building up. Put it back. So the copper is coming out of solution and binding to the steel. Uh, I mean, just real quick. It's ridiculous it, you know at first you think it's rust but it's copper so if I leave it in there for a bit I had marker on the other side there but uh, yeah imagine if I had this a uh, little bit more clean it would have uh, had better adhesion um, I was sticking finishing nails in this solution and I mean just instantly they were covered in copper so I just find this really fascinating and uh, I don't know probably if I left this in here it'd end up uh, either growing a really thick copper layer or completely dissolving the steel uh, right now it just seems to be adding layers of copper so I know it's copper 2 ions um, it's most likely uh, copper 2 chloride uh, it was a mixture of potassium nitrate, hydrochloric acid, 31.45%, uh, and 32 grams of copper. Um, so anyhow, yeah, sorry, uh, my camera's moving all over the place, but it'll end up drying like a, a dull finish, but if I polish it up with the Dremel, I mean, it's nice, shiny copper. I mean... Plus, if I wear it down with some uh, 400 grit sandpaper and then uh, just clean it off real quick, distilled water, stick it back in, uh, comes out actually looking pretty decent. Um, but yeah, it's just uh, it's something incredibly impressive to me. Um, you know, I'll probably end up getting like even thicker, more uh, durable coatings uh, through electroplating. But you know, for uh, not having a means to copper plate something you you be able to do it without uh, electricity you know, just <clears throat> possibly just keep doing coats or, or leave something sitting in there for a long time but yeah it just seems to keep getting thicker and thicker so yeah, it's pretty cool anyhow um, I'll end up touching this up getting it nice and shiny and then seeing how durable it is um, I guess I'll keep playing with it for a while and see how many, or, you know, just how thick I can get that copper. Uh, it's weird, though, that it's uh, leaving the side of the marker alone. That was going to be a Bogota uh, lock pick, and uh, who knows? I, can, I guess uh, do copper-coated uh, or copper-plated uh, steel. <laughs> Anyhow, that's all I've got for right now. I don't want to make this any longer. Talk to you guys next time.